What is going on guys, it's Waffle here and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now last time we left off, we actually started Mr. Cheese Crop, uh, I think that's the name of the mission, right? Mr. Cheese Crop, or just Cheese Crop, okay, whatever. Anyways, yeah, we started this mission right here. Uh, I've hidden chi beans throughout the world, find them, grow them, propagate them, and ship 500 chi fruit within the time limit. Now, I actually just recorded today's episode, but I was like, I was kind of unhappy with it, so I was like, you know what, I need to re-record the episode. I reverted my save, and here we are, so. The reason I did that is because, you know, we have this mission right here to ship 500 chi fruit, and I was under the impression that, oh man, maybe I can grow some of the chi fruit, you know, find some of the chi beans, like we found 20 uh, last episode, and then plant them down, and they'd be like blueberries, well, they'll grow in like, what, three, four days or something like that. And then when we harvest them, we can get like three, four of them at a time, just like blueberries or cranberries or even coffee beans like these right here, which I need to harvest. So I might as well harvest them in the background while I'm yapping. But yeah, let, let me just show you guys the footage from the original recording from today. And that should hopefully explain it. Oh, yeah, look at that. They got little faces on them. It's raining today. So that's really cool. Let's see. So, oh, it's only one. Oh, I thought it was like maybe blueberries or whatever else where you get like multiple. But no. Man, y'all, this is definitely impossible, you guys. And yeah, you guys can see it's not like how I was anticipating, like where we get multiple of them at a time, like blueberries or, or cranberries or anything like that. It's like growing any other thing, like parsnips or anything like that, where you grow them and like three, four days later, you harvest them and then you have to replant them. So, you know, with the time constraints that we have, we only have like, what, 10, actually nine more days, right? Well, 10 more. Okay, well, it says 10 more days right there, but still, uh, even with the crop growing after three days with the deluxe speed grow fertilizer and someone even competent saying, yeah, if you change your profession to farmer, tiller, agriculturalist, it'll grow in two days. Even with that, which I did do in that alternate recording, like it's basically impossible to do with the time that we have. So maybe at the beginning of winter time, if we get this mission again, maybe I'll do it again. But for right now, I think I'm just going to let it sit in the background. I don't know if I could actually go over to Mr. Chi and change it right now. I guess I could check. Uh, let's see if we can actually change that mission, or maybe we have to wait until Monday. Let's see. Yeah, we, we can't do this one right here. And even this one right here, Cheese Kindness, gift 50 loved gifts in one week. Like, we started, and it only had five days left. Like, we started on, what, Tuesday or Wednesday or something like that? So, we were already at a disadvantage. If I started this on, like, Monday, maybe I'd be able to do that. But I just kind of need to figure out, like, what is, like, a universally loved gift that I have a lot of that I can give to people for that mission, you know? So, for right now, I think I'm just going to ignore the rest of the Mr. Cheese mission. Even though it's kind of a major thing. But it is Friday, so we only have to wait a few more days, and then it will, like, reset. Because I think they reset on Mondays or something like that, right? Bananas, four days to mature, five days to mature there. Mango tree. 16 days mature on that banana tree. Golly, that's crazy. But right now, uh, oh yeah, don't we have another mission for yeah, tropical fish, catch lionfish, discus thing, right? I guess I could do that. How's our, uh, oh yeah, our, our cork bobber thing right there, tackle thing? That's almost heckin' broken, so that kind of sucks. I guess I could fish for those and finish Willie's mission, although I don't know if we want to get anything significant uh, other than just money from completing that mission, so I don't know. Uh, but if we go over to the dig site, we can actually get more ginger for Caroline's mission. Uh, oh yeah, like I was talking about a minute ago. <laughs> I have like 20, oh, we got some worms right here. I've got like 20 chi beans already in my inventory. If I keep them in my inventory, I guess they're just going to despawn. Someone said they just like disappear or the plants die, something like that. Can I not get that? Oh, there you go. Uh, like, like whenever the mission like time frame like ends, expires or whatever. And there's no ginger over here. I guess the beans and the plants will just disappear, so that kind of sucks there, but yeah, no, no, man, there's nothing. Oh, and by the way, yeah, in the original recording, too, I, I can show you guys the footage, too. I discovered there's a hidden bridge right here behind this tree. It's like right outside of here. Yeah, right there. How in the world do I get that? I already checked it in the jungle. Let me see if there's an entrance. There's no bridge here. An entrance. Oh, there is! Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, I saw it, I saw it. It was like a bridge. Boom, another golden wand right there, awesome. Hold on. Yeah, look at that, there's like a, you can kind of see like handrails right there behind that tree. Oh my gosh, how did I never notice that? And yeah, that takes us over to here and I get this golden walnut, cool. And I also tested out, speaking of uh, getting golden walnuts, I went over to, what's his name? I'll, sh I'll just show you the footage. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it actually worked. Okay, so a while now you guys have been saying, oh, you need to come over here and hit, uh, what's his name, Leo's tree with a specific tool. I thought I already did it, but I guess I never did it with the right item. I guess it was a pickaxe, not an axe or a hoe or a weapon or anything like that. Boom, we just got another golden walnut right there. But, but yeah, as you guys see, uh, we go over here to Leo's tree house. I thought I already did this, but I guess not. Uh, we go up there and I guess hit it with a pickaxe, hit it with the axe, something like that. And then it gives us a golden walnut. So let's see, which one is it? 
Do I have to hit it? Yeah, it is with the axe or pickaxe. Yeah, I must have hit it with the pickaxe. I must have hit it with the hoe. I must have hit it with the sword or the hammer. I guess I never hit it with the pickaxe. <laughs> but there we go. So we got another one right there. So what are we up to? 17? No, we're up to 18. That's actually pretty good, you guys. Not bad. Definitely want to. Yeah, next time we come back to the island, definitely want to come back with some of those note blocks or whatever they're called. Let's go to the docks. Uh, then we can go over to the Pirate's Cove over here. We can actually get some of the stingrays for Willie's mission. And I'll probably cut out a pretty good amount of the footage over here because it's just going to be me fishing, right? Oh, there we go. Oh, is that a... It is another Gormon frog statue. <laughs> so I've got another one of those right there. What am I going to do with it? I've already got one in Penny's like little reading den. I don't know if I want to put another one over there. Just flood them all over my house or something like that. I guess I could do that, huh? <laughs> oh, we got a fish. Is it just a... Whoa! This might be a stingray. I, I don't remember if they're really easy or re really difficult, but uh, let's see if we can get that treasure chest too. Oh, man. Oh, let's try and get the treasure chest. Before it expires. There we go. And then I'm going to run out of fish. Ah, no, 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 no. No, he's at the very tall. Man, this is a really tricky one. This must be a stingray or something. Although I don't know, are, are stingrays only caught here? Or er, I, I know they're only caught here, but are they the only thing you can catch here? I don't know, but golly, this thing's really... Ooh, man, it's really tough when they're at the very top and then at the very bottom, because at the very bottom, I'm trying to prevent the green bar from bouncing and stuff, you know? But at the very top... Ooh, I kind of have to anticipate it going down, so I don't want to stay at the front. That was a puffer fish. What in the world? What are we going to use that for? Oh, we got another chibi. I didn't even know you can get it from the treasure chest school. What are you used to puffer fish for? Inflates when threatened. I guess he's threatened right now because he's inflated right now. But uh, whoops, that's the wrong button. Let's see. Micah rolls shimi and sailor shirt. Did I see that already? I don't know. Is this the first one I've ever caught? Does this say how many I've? I own one. Okay, this is the first one I ever had, huh? Cool. So I have one puffer fish here. It makes yellow dye. Doesn't seem too crazy. I don't know if I want to keep that, maybe gift it to someone. Uh, someone loves it. It's probably Willie, honestly. <laughs> Everyone else is neutral or dislikes it. Or three of them actually straight up hate it, so that's kind of funny there. But I want to check on that. So what's it called? Stingray, I think. Yeah, that one right there. It kind of looked like a map at first. And yeah, it's all day over here. Yeah, any season too. Okay, cool. So I guess I'll just keep fishing here and then we can finish Willie's mission. I think we already caught... No, we caught one blue discus. I still need to catch five of these stingrays, four blue discus, and five lionfish, I think. And I think the lionfish we catch over in the ocean in the uh, island west over by the farmhouse. So I guess I'll just do a bunch of heckin' fish and we can finish up this mission while time is kind of passing in the background. Then maybe we can actually get another Mr. Chi mission later this episode if enough time passes. So let me just keep fishing and I'll let you guys know what I catch. Another pile's another puffer fish and I'm holding them upside down too. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Oh! Ah, I missed it. I guess back and it's 1.40 a.m. I did catch all of these stingrays, but golly, they were pretty tough there, especially at the end when my cork heckin broke. So my uh, little green bar is a little bit smaller than usual. So that kind of sucked there, but I did get all five of them. So I guess we got the hard part out of the way there, huh? Yeah, got all the stingrays there and I've got three blue discus. I got two more uh, just a minute ago and I'm almost out of energy and uh, it's almost 2 a.m. Anyway, so let's just go to bed. There you go. And I still need to catch all five lionfish and uh, two more blue discus. So I could probably do that here in the morning just a bit. Right. So I suppose we could do that as well as I guess we can just go home and do some of the morning busy work over there because I've been over here for a few days now. So there's probably a lot I need to catch up on over there, huh? But uh, oh, yeah, then I got two more Gormon statues. I was kind of thinking in the back of my head, like, what am I going to do with those? And I was like, you know what? Let's just put them in the heckin' cave over here with a Gormon himself. <laughs> it's going to be pretty funny. Like, which one's the real? Yeah, there it is right there. Like, which one's the real one? And they're like, the yeah, look at that. They're like the same size anyways. <laughs> That's awesome. Hold on. Oh, I can't put it there because it's like a little smokestacks right there. What? <laughs> this looks amazing, you guys. Right here is where I need to get the uh, blue discuses. So let me just keep fishing here and get, what, two more of them or three more of them? I forget. As well as get some of the ginger up there on the top right corner of the world. There's some uh, ginger on the top right corner. Oh, oh, yeah, and then I've been getting cheese. Yeah, so how many do I have right now? Like 30 something? Even though I'm not going to use them anymore, I, I would have used them in that alternate universe, but it just seems so impossible right now for us to do that five, which I wouldn't be surprised if that's actually the hardest heckin' mission. I think you guys might have said that last time we had the uh, mission on the table, right? I guess I'm back. I think this might be the final. Oh, I might as well get the treasure chest. I think this might be the final lionfish. It might be like, I don't know if it's a tuna, but uh, seems relatively easy and the lionfish have been easy pretty far. Oh, there we go. 
And there we go. We got the Wheelie's mission right there. So yeah, another Chibi and Geodes. Yeah, I, I need to get all the uh, golden coconuts and then artifact troves and whatever else over here. Omni Geodes. I need to get all those. And whenever I go back, uh, we can go visit Clint real quick before he closes. But 2,500 gold. Eh, not that big of a deal. But at least I finished a mission, right? Because we're basically skipping this one. So at least I made myself useful in that regard. Still need to get some of the uh, ginger here, though. We're at 58. Eh, almost two thirds there. Not bad. A few ginger right there. Four of them, actually. Not bad. And, whoop. and yeah, look at the top right corner. It's going to rain on the island tomorrow, as was the, uh, eh, chi bean right there. Not crazy about it. It's going to rain on the island. Oh, man, another golden coconut right there. Perfect. It's going to rain on the island tomorrow. So definitely, yes. That oh, I need to re- read. I, I, I don't know what, what word do you describe to turn it uh, the exact opposite of tilling the land, right? Because <laughs> that's tilling it. This is turning it back in the dirt. But uh, yeah, because it's going around the island tomorrow. Remember, over by the Pirate's Cove, there's that mermaid that shows up and sits on that rock. And we read on the real wiki that you need to play like the mermaid theme song using note blocks. So I guess when we go home, we can go grab some of the note blocks I already have, as well as craft a few more of them in case I don't have enough. And in this chest, yeah, we have one artifact trove, three golden coconuts, omni geodes. Are any regular? Yeah, regular geode there. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, organize that. Yeah, I think we good. We have seven dragon teeth right there. Was it three, three more days, I think, for the banana tree? And then we have to wait like multiple days until we get like, what, five bananas and then we can get the obelisk. So still a little ways away there. I may do like a three day episode or four day episode because I'm doing a lot of off camera stuff this episode. So hopefully that's going to get us that banana tree a little bit faster, right? And anything, nothing, man. Well, there are some worms over there. I guess I'll see what that is. Any Omni Geodes there? Uh, eh, one Omni Geode and four Chi Beans. That's actually crazy. Oh, look at that Vincent's on the island. I wonder if he's playing with Leo here. I want to see a shot. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you actually want to. Golly, Vincent. <laughs> Sam over there playing his acoustic guitar. All right, so Clint, let's see. Process Geodes, what are we going to get? Let's do regular Geodes first. What's the good? Eh, a little bit of copper. Oh, yeah, there is some copper back at the uh, island farm. I forgot to grab it so we could smelt it over here, but eh, it's probably like maybe three or four ingots at most. Okay, so I think if I remember correctly, the only things we're missing from the museum are actual artifacts. So all these gems I'm getting from the uh, geode, it's not anything good, unfortunately. Thankfully, we have the, uh, I think the golden coconut can give us artifacts, but that artifact trove, that guarantees artifacts, right? So maybe I'll save that for last. Let's do the uh, golden coconut slime. Oh, eh, we got, yeah, we already finished that like fossil tent or whatever. Eh, we got some pineapple seeds right there. Not bad. And then this one, a mahogany seed, man. All right, well, let's see what's inside the artifact trove. Oh, jeez, oh, I thought that was like a dead body, but no, it's an ancient doll. Yeah, we already donated that, so. Man, didn't get anything good there, unfortunately. For right now, you guys know the deal. Even though it's 3 heckin' p.m., we gotta do some morning busy work, right? So, let me just pet all the animals over here, take care of them, and, uh, yep, all the taps down there are actually all ready to go, too. And some of the, uh, fairy dust, not fairy dust, but fairy uh, roses over there need to be harvested, too, because we're outside of Junimo range, so I need to harvest them as well, but I'll see you guys here in just a bit after I get all this busy work done. I guess I'm back. Still doing some of the quote unquote morning business work at almost 10 p.m. But I just harvested or uh, what do you want to call it? Collected up some of the stuff from the preserving bins over here. And yeah, a lot of them are finished up except for that one right there, I think. And those two right there. So I might as well grab these. Oh, man. I, ah, it's not a little bit of money right there from the cavalry. Yeah, I don't even drop it whenever you break it. So that was an accident right there. Oopsie doopsie. Right. But let's just grab these and we can put them in the other shed. And I guess tomorrow morning, yeah, five hours, eight hours right there. I guess tomorrow morning we can actually uh, move those two other ones over here. Let's just get the uh, preserved uh, jars or whatever these are heckin' called. <laughs> Place these down like so, just like, oh, whoops. Just like we did in the other shed. And then what we could do in that other shed is actually place down more kegs where these used to be. So that could be just nothing but kegs. And uh, I guess we'll place these down like so. And this one could be nothing but preserving jars. So that'd be pretty good. As well as, yeah, the one outside. Yeah, the one outside was empty as well. So let's grab that one and we can put it outside as well. And uh, we just keep kegs on the outside. I guess we could put this one here, I suppose, huh? Because this one's right next to the walkway, right? So with that, like that, let's see if there's any like caviar or uh, what do you call it? Row inside of here. There's nothing. I do have some row already in my inventory. So that's good. I just put all that up in there like that. There you go. And then we can grab melons, pumpkins, cauliflower melons. And then, yeah, all these other ones we put in the kegs. I don't know about the am. I guess we can grab that. Is that good? Is that was that pickled amaranth? Pickled amaranth. Is that good? Eh, kind of. Four ninety. I guess I can do. That. I've only got three of them, so I might as well actually get rid of those. Right? They've probably been sitting there for like multiple years. So let's just put them in here, I suppose, huh? Get those processing, like so. And then for these other ones, we'll just put some of the row. And speaking of row and uh, the fish ponds and stuff over there, uh, the lava eels are actually requesting like mega bombs. I can show you guys that here in just a minute, but uh. 
The other ones, I guess we can do cauliflower. We haven't done cauliflower for a while, so we'll put cauliflower on the rest of these. And I do need to get that heckin' chest set up, but I don't know if we have enough time to do it. It's 11.50 right now. Oh yeah, the, uh, what do you call it? Crystallarium's up there finished up, so we have five more diamonds. We have 41 in total, so getting pretty prepared for that, uh, cask situation that's going on downstairs. Which, by the way, I think a lot of starfruit wine is going to finish tomorrow morning, so let's definitely watch out for that. We can make more casks now that we actually have wood, right? So how many can I make? I can make 30 of them! That's actually... Keg there. Preserves jar. I can make two more of those, but that's 50 wood. Oh, these are only 20 wood, though. Man. I feel like the cask might be more important. And I think I specifically left like exactly 30 starfruit wine downstairs. So having 30 casks, that's going to be perfect. It's midnight right now, so I don't think we have enough time for that, but I guess I can craft them just so we have that done already and I don't forget about it, right? But uh, let's do that as well. Yeah, let's make a stone chest. It's usually, uh, yeah, there is right there. So we could put like pumpkins and melons and whatever else inside there. Use that for storage for the other shed over there, right? So. For right now, though, let's grab, yep, I think two Mega Bombs. I think they wanted two Mega Bombs. Let's get those, give them to the Lava Eels. And I think right now there's five of them. Oh, man, I forgot to get the uh, Fairy Roses right there. Yeah, there's five of them right there. Yep, they want two Mega Bombs. Let's throw those in there casually. Blip, blip. Hey, look, it's a Mega Bomb. Just what we needed. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. Let's go inside this other shed and let's put, oh, yeah, I need to put something on the outside uh, preserving thing to kind of indicate, like, everything in here is done, you know, so. Oh, the world's the... Uh, oh, there it is right there. Okay, so let's put everything in there like that, 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 and melons. And I guess we'll get one cauliflower and we'll put that outside, huh? So let's do that. And I don't know if I have enough time to go take care of the chicken mayonnaise egg situation, all that kind of stuff. I might, as well as all the fairy... Oh, if anything, yeah, because these things are all different colors and all different qualities. Silver star, gold star, etc. It's probably going to fill up my heckin' inventory. Yeah, but right as I say that, inventory is already full. I might as well grab the other ones here. Well, I already have them stacked up. So there you go. Just a few colors and qualities right there, but it's 12.50 right now. Let's just go put all these in the heckin' chest over there. And I guess in the morning, we lay down all the casks as well as uh, probably get all the starfruit wine that's going to finish up in that other shed, huh? Put all the pickled pumpkins and blobby bloob inside there. Oh yeah, a bunch of fairy rose honey finished up too. So we have 30K right there. Starfruit wine, I'll keep that in my inventory. Oh yeah, I need to sell the ginger too. I need to ship that as part of Caroline's mission, huh? So let's do that. So the, oh, dinosaur man, sell that. Get a little bit of money out of that. Get a little bit of money out of that too. I think everything else is pretty well set. Let's see if I can put the oil maker. There it goes, 140. And let's go to the regular bed. I think we have enough time to do that, right? Oh, I, I think I forgot the pat Gungus on the head, right? Oh, at least she has company with the little Zongus over there. What's that Junimo plush I got in the movie theater? <laughs> Anyways, overnight, day 20 of full year three. You guys know what that means. Geez, 66,000 overnight. It's going to be day 21 of fall. <laughs> the magical number. Anyways, yeah, so I think a lot of, uh, and it, let's make, oh yeah, look, oh my gosh, look how cute she is with the gigantic bow tie that we gave her last episode. Any other goofy hats? Cone hat, dinosaur. Oh yeah, I, I was curious about the dinosaur hat. How, how cute she's going to be with the, oh, she's a little dino. Oh, she's so cute. I need her to turn around though, so I can actually see the face. Uh, and yeah, yeah, because I already talked to her, she's like, she's not going to turn around, so that kind of sucks, but. Let's just grab this. Already more. And six right there. And yeah, it's going. It's raining on the island today. So let's go to the island. Let's let, let's do the uh, flute block thing. I guess I could look and see how we actually craft those flute block. Oh, I needed what? Man, ah, I shouldn't have got those casks. But I guess I can cut down a few trees. But maybe in my inventory, I could just keep some of the copper ore and fiber. And then on my way over to the island, on my way over to uh, whatever his name is, I could just cut down some trees. I suppose. So copper fiber. Where's the fiber at? There it is. I guess I'll grab that and then copper ore. I guess I'll just grab all of those. There we go. But let's just go outside. Oh, we got some mail, actually. Hold on. And our animals are coming out, so uh, let's see what this is. Oh, Willie gave us a random aquarium. Probably for finishing his mission, huh? Waffle, congrats on a successful island fishing trip. I'm proud of you. Here, take this special fish tank. It'll make a great piece in your house. Now, does he know that we have that man cave with a bunch of heckin' fish inside of it already? I don't know. Oh, jeez, almost just attacked my own animals. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, let me just do all this morning busy work real quick, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Oh, hold on, I was just about to pause right there. A new ostrich chick hatch. It's a big one. Oh, yeah, I forgot that we had an ostrich. Berta, Brokina, Lika, Loop. Now, what's a goofy name that will fit with the other goofy animal names? Word? <laughs> what's the ostrich? Is there something that starts with an O? I'm not seeing anything that starts with the letter O, so it's mostly like S and like C's and T's and G's and Z's, even Z's. I don't know what's going on with that. So maybe I'll just find a random one. Mock, Minzy, Wombus. <laughs> don't I already have something named Wombus? Puko? What in the world is that? 
Okay, let's just do Puko. It's, it's right, the P is right next to O, so there you go. Puko the ostrich. <laughs> Golly, these are stupid. Oh, there he Oh, he's so cute. Whoa, did you guys hear that? Oh, it's a crazy sound effect. I've never heard that before. Is that really what an ostrich sounds like? I don't know. But I do have a heck ton of milk I need to take care of, so let me just do that real quick. And I'm actually curious. Hold on, let me go. Oh, wait, no, there he is right there. So if I puke the ostrich, friendly, puke seems curious. Seven days until it, I guess, becomes an adult, huh? On fall 28, so right at the end of the month, it's going to become an adult, so that's going to be interesting. Puke seems curious, but a little cautious. It's a strange new world. Yeah, because you, you freshly hatched, huh? So I suppose uh, I'll let you roam around, right? Now, what are we going to get from you, though? Do you lay eggs too, ostrich? Egg? Animal product? I'm like, I guess if I get this, I could actually get another ostrich, kind of like the chickens we did, uh, with their incubator, but... We get pink cake. Well, that's just using any type of animal product, not specifically ostrich egg. What do you use an ostrich egg even for? And, like, what what does it do? Does it... A warrior helmet? <laughs> Maybe I'll save an extra one. Oh, yeah, we haven't... Yeah, 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 we, we do... We have two of them. Uh, we kept it in the chest right next to the uh, incubator, so let's get that going. Just because, uh, it takes, like, what, ten days or something stupid, so... But yeah, there it is right there. I'll also get that going like right now. Boom. Yeah, 10 days, nine, uh, nine days, nine hours till that's done. Golly. So anyways, oh, geez, a bunch of cranberries over there. Yeah, my Janimos have their work cut out for them. And uh, speaking of work cut out for them, uh, so do I. So let me just do all this morning busy work real quick. Like I was originally trying to do before I noticed the uh, new ostrich. Oh, yeah, let's check the shed. See if there's anything or see if these are all done. Oh, they're not done. Just seven hours, eight hours, eight hours. It's 9 a.m. right now. Okay, so. It just come about afternoon-ish, but now these are done, so I could actually grab these and put them in the other shed, so that's good. Uh, but yeah, it, those are going to be done here somewhat soon, but at the same time, I want to go to the island so I could actually uh, do the mermaid thing, right? So, man, there's so much I want to do, and so little time. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at the little Gungus with the dino helmet on her. Oh, she's so cute. Anyways, let's go place down some of the uh, casks. Up. Oh man, there's Silver Star now. Yeah, I I think we're oh I have 29. Oh wow, this is perfect. I have 30 of them actually. So I could actually get them. Yeah, I don't have to wait for the ones to finish up. Yeah, I could I can get these going right now. Holy heck. Uh let's put the cheese up inside of there. Do I have enough space down here though? Do I have 30 slots to do uh so I guess yeah, at least he's like this. Then we do uh I guess I could have done two round man. Whatever. Uh we could always change this in the future. Maybe after this first round of I guess we could do yeah, do this right there. Uh and let's get the Wine and then two before I forget, because I know I'm going to forget. Uh, but yeah, I guess we just go to the island, huh? And then over there we can cut down some of the palm trees, I suppose. And that'll be a way of us getting some of the wood, and we could use that for the flute blocks, for the uh, for the mermaid and whatnot. But it looks like I do have enough space here. Yeah, boom! I have three left. Yeah, this is perfect. I I definitely have three spaces above me. There you go, right here. Awesome. So there, and let's put a wine there. So I have to wrap around. Do another one here. And these are going to be done, I guess, I guess I'll put one in that corner. Perfect. I might be able to put another one, like, right there. Oh, yeah, and then another one right there, and then another one right there. Yeah. So we have a few slots, and maybe one, like, right there on that corner, too. Yeah. There's a few more slots I could do here, you guys. This is perfect, but, yeah, remember, we're not going to do the fairy dust thing until those are gold star. Oh, there she is right there. Not until they're gold stars. So, uh, I think it's, what, two more weeks until those are going to be gold stars? So it's two weeks to turn from no star to silver star, and then two weeks to turn from silver star to gold star. And then gold star to iridium is a whole month or a whole season, right? So that's why we want to use the fairy dust on them. And I have, like, what, 41 diamonds? Yeah, I've got 41 diamonds right now, yeah. I just placed down 30 casks right there. I assume I have like 60, 70 casks in there already. So hopefully we can get more. I don't know if we could buy them from anywhere, but yeah, definitely don't want to waste them right now. huh? Uh, maybe we can get more crystallariums so we could actually process more diamonds uh, every, what, four, four days, three days, something like that, right? So there's the crystallarium, battery pack, iridium bar, gold bar, stone. We could definitely do that. We have a lot of iridium. We have a ton of batteries. Gold bar, that might be the thing holding us back. No, yeah, we got a ton there. Holy heck. Ton of batteries there, ton of iridium. Do I need them to be iridium bar? Oh yeah, we have a ton of iridium bar there too. And a bunch of stone. Yeah, we can definitely get a bunch more crystals. Should we do that though? We have, I, th I think four right now. So I suppose what we could do, maybe move the crystallariums over to that demon room. Uh, just cause I'm not using it for anything else, right? So I suppose I can do that. Just kind of get it started. So I can, oh my gosh, I can make seven. I can probably make more if I, what, what's, what's holding me back here? The iridium bars, it looks like. Yeah, I just need to smelt them, yeah. Holy heck, so we have four right now. We'll have 11 in total, so every four days or whatever, we get 11 diamonds. That's really good, you guys. 
Let's definitely do that, huh? Yeah. Crystallariums. Let's make all seven of them, sure. At least it doesn't require wood, so. Boom. Seven more crystallariums. We can make more if I uh, smelt some of the... I, I might as well smelt some of the iridium outside, right? We got coal, yeah. Let's get ten of those. I think we have ten furnaces, right? So let's get fifty iridium there, too. And we let that smelt basically all day, and then tomorrow we could actually do another craft of uh, crystallariums, right? And then let's get seven diamonds. There you go, cool. Now let's go over to that heck of demon room. Uh, just because there's no room really uh, to place them anywhere else, so might as well do them over here. There we go. Oh wow, that was perfect. Holy heck. So we're making a bunch of diamonds right here. What's that? Oh, four, four and a half days. Eh, close enough. So we've got a bunch of crystallariums right there. More crystallariums. Oh, we have five right there. Okay, so we have 12 in total. So every four and a half days we get 12. If you calculate that, every month we would get 48. And it takes a month for the starfruit wine to go from no star to gold star. So, yeah, I definitely would need to get more crystallariums to kind of keep up with the demand, right? Assuming I'm still going to have a ton of uh, fairy roses in the background. Yeah, well, at least we're going to have more iridium right now. I'll be able to make, what, four or five more? I forget how many iridium each craft require, but there you go. Boom, get those going. Oh, jeez, I just got five chi beans from a uh, hoe in the ground. Yeah, definitely next time we have this mission available, definitely want to hoe the ground like anywhere, even here in Stardew Valley, where I'm kind of skipping out on it lately because we basically got everything there is to get here. So we're just getting a bunch of like clay, mud, whatever, rocks. But let's just go to the island. It's raining there already. Just need to cut down some trees and get some wood, unless I already have some wood here in storage. And then we can make those flute blocks for the heckin' mermaid. Oh, geez, yeah, the coffee over here needs to be harvested, too. Yeah, let's do that a little bit later. Uh, for right now, though, let's see if I have any wood. No, I don't. I have hardwood here, though, which is pretty good, but I don't need it here. Man. All right, I guess I've cut down some of the random palm trees that are outside here, huh? It's going to be two days until the banana trees are going to be done. That's going to be great, you guys, but yeah, I just cut down these, I suppose, right? Boom. Yeah, three hits there. Yeah, cutting down trees. I think I said that before. We get chi beans from those too, so definitely should have uh, saved those quarry trees until now if I wanted to get a bunch of chi beans, but eh, we'll save that for next time when we have actually a whole entire season to do it, right? But for right now, how much wood do we need for one craft? We, need, we can get four flute blocks right now. What is the thing holding us back? Fiber? I think I have more fiber up in storage. I guess I'll get four of them. I don't know if I need more of them. Uh, that was an unintentional rhyme right there. But uh, four of them, that should be a good start, because I know on the ground it kind of indicates there's like a note block there kind of saying, oh, and I might as well, yeah, I'll grab those stone right there, put it in the slingshot, because I was kind of missing earlier. Uh, but where in the world is, I think it's in this one, right, the fiber. Yeah, so we got 13 right there. Oh, wow, exactly, 20 right now. I can make another one. Boom, flute blocks. So we have five. Is that enough? If not, I can always look up the wiki and see uh, how many specifically I need, but we already know about the mermaid thing anyways, because it was on the same page when I was looking up that pirate cove thing, as well as you guys told me in the comments. And I even figured it out myself, too. I was I noticed there's like a, a note symbol on one of the rocks over here, so this... Yeah, look at that. Note symbol right there. That actually does show that you need to... So is this... Do I start here? Do I start here? Because if I start here, I could actually... Boom. Hold on. I don't, I don't even know how their song goes. Oh man, I don't even know. <laughs> how, how does the song go? If it wasn't a whole year ago since I last heard it, I'd probably be able to replicate it, but if I don't want to cheat, maybe I'll just go watch that video real quick. There's a thing inside of you, Penny! <laughs> the heck was I talking about right there? <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that. One five, it's literally in my notes, hold on. Secret note number 15, 15423. So if I left this, one, five. If I left this on one, well, that means nothing? Or I guess I could, uh, 15423. Actually, hold on, those are all right. Man. One, five. Two, wait, hold on. Is that. Two? I'm confused. I'm conf I can't lit. I can't think what the heck is happening in the background. So 15423, right? According to note number 15. Let's pick that up, place it back down. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's a little bit too high, honestly. It's like, do, 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 do. Something like that, right? So I feel like it, one means not doing anything. One, five, four, two, three. Is this it? Hold on, let's see. Ew. Yeah, that's definitely off tune. Hold on. Yeah, I don't want to walk that way. <laughs> So if I adjust it by just one. Maybe just adjust it by one every time I walk by. Ugh, yeah, that doesn't sound right either. Yeah, she's probably over there muffling her ears. 
<laughs> yeah, that's really bad. That definitely doesn't have anything to do with this, huh? 15423. Yeah, 15423. Mermaid Show. It's for the Mermaid Show, but not this. Okay, I'm straight up looking it up. It actually tells me right here. 211957. How in the world was I supposed to figure that out? So did I do it? Hold on, let's let's make it play. Oh my gosh, that sounds a billion times better than my off key. <laughs> oh my gosh, well there you go, you guys, that actually worked right there. And I spent like three or four in-game hours trying to do this. Probably would have spent like a whole day or something like that trying to do it if I wasn't literally looking it up, but I, I kind of had it there, especially with the Mermaid Show secret note that I found by literally watching my own video. Yeah, that one right there. One, five, four, that wasn't even close, though. How are you supposed to figure this out other than just pure trial and error? I guess I could just leave these here then, huh? At least I added exactly enough. Because if I need one more, yeah, I wouldn't be able to do that. I didn't have enough fiber, unfortunately. But we have how many? 23. I think that's enough. I think it's 20 to unlock that obelisk, right? Not 25? Let's just go Let's go to the farm. Oh, jeez, that thing's huge. What in the world? Let's just go to the farm real quick. Let's see if I can actually unlock that. And I guess if we do, is that everything unlocked on the island? Because I can't think of anything else anywhere else. Yeah, this was like where the turtle, this was like the first thing we unlocked right here, huh? But then, yeah, we still have, oh, jeez, yeah, I still have to, yeah, I guess I get some of the coffee right now. Just uh, multitask it, right? On my way over to the obelisk. Kind of want to see how that thing works. Okay, I got all the coffee right there, but I want to get all the ginger over here. Cause I, oh, man, a I forgot, yeah, gem birds. So we can get a ruby right there randomly. Uh, but let's get some of the ginger over here while we're in the area. Because I know what I can forget if I don't get them now. Yeah, I think that's all of them, except for the one that's maybe over by the Parrot Express. I guess I could check that, as well as the dig site and whatnot. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a couple over here. I guess I'll grab those. You know, incrementally getting closer and closer to finishing Caroline's mission. So, blip, there you go. There you go. So, just one more. I guess we'll check this over here, too, real quick, just because there were a bunch of ginger. At least once. I don't know why it's not there now. <laughs> Let's see. Can I buy that? Yeah, it's only 20. We can do it. Ah, 20 walnuts. So let's see, how's this work? Because I don't have any obelisks back home. Is this actually going to work without any obelisks? Let's see. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it is an actual straight up obelisk right here from what I've seen on the wiki. Let's see. Oh, there it is right there. It is farm obelisk. Why do they call it a warp totem or whatever it's called? I'm like, I guess it kind of is a warp totem, but they definitely should have just called it farm obelisk. Yeah, this looks like it teleports you straight back to the farm uh, in Stardew Valley. Yeah, so it's basically a warp totem farm, but like a permanent one, kind of like an obelisk. So let's see, does this work how I assume it does? Like a warp totem that, yeah, boom. The, oh my gosh, and yep, all the iridium down there is done too. Holy heck, you guys are going to get heck and bank. Oh, the, oh man. Yeah, we're getting neck and bank tonight, you guys. Golly. All right, well, let's just get some of the coffee beans that I just freshly harvested set up in all these heckin' kegs here. And we still have, like, what, two more days until the banana trees are done, so we're, we're getting slowly closer to getting the uh, farm obelisk. But, hey, at least we have a way to go from the farm to here instantly, so I'm not going to complain about that one bit. And, yeah, we have these done as well, and I'll grab these, too, because... There we go. Yeah, we can make more uh, crystallariums, and we can actually get some pretty good progress overnight if I get them set up right now, huh? And we got 96 star for yet, 302,400 dollars. Oh my gosh, we're going to be at 1.7 million. Jeez. Well, our basement is basically full right now with star fruit wines, so it's for like what three or four, I think I said. So I guess I'll put all of them in there and then keep. Maybe I'll keep like five, just because I don't think there's room for any more than that. So. I'll sell all the other ones, though, so that's going to be basically, yeah, 286,000. Golly. Another 8,7500 right there from the uh, truffle oil. So, man, we're going to be making some amazing money, you guys. I guess I could put the chi beans in there. They're just going to despawn at the end of the month anyways, right, when the uh, thing expires. So, I guess we'll put those there. Oh, jeez, I said I was going to get crystallariums, right? Man, I forgot to do that. Uh, should I do that right now instead of uh, getting the starfruit one? Yeah, let's just do that. What am I missing? Uh, gold bar. Oh, man, now I'm missing gold bars. I need five to get one, so, man, I need to do a huge smelt of gold. Oh, I don't have enough coal to do all that, though. Man, I guess maybe we can go to Clint and buy a bunch of coal uh, next episode or something, huh? But for right now, let's just do eight things of gold right there. There we go. So that's all that. Oh, yeah, I can get to... Actually, I don't have any wood right now, so... <laughs> it's not like I can turn the wood into charcoal, so that kind of sucks there. Eh, it's 1.40 a.m. right now. I guess we'll just go to bed. There you go. Let's just go to bed as I almost break my keyboard. <laughs> There we go, day 21 of fall. Hey, man, day 21. 21 is like the meme number on the channel. 
day 21 was super duper productive you guys we did the mermaid like note thing we got 20 golden walnuts we unlocked that obelisk thing to come back home and we got a bunch of star fruit wine right there we're selling overnight what 300k we just saw right there we're at 1.7 million in the bank golly that's amazing and little dino gungus over there too <laughs> he's so cute Golly, it looks like all the other kegs just finished up with the other starfruit wine, so man, I, I'm definitely going to be able to process all my coffee here, huh? But for right now, I definitely like this recording a lot more in the original record. I'm glad that I redid this episode. Everything is okay over here. Cool. Oh yeah, I, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I did do this off camera. I replanted down some wheat, so one more day until these are all done. We'll get some more hay for the winter time. I don't know how my silos are doing right now, so I don't even know if I'm like missing out on actual hay because they're already full or what. Can I even check them? Because there's lightning rods in the way. Pieces of hay. Oh yeah, they're not even full. Okay, cool. For right now, I guess we could just end it off right here and start looking forward to next episode, so... Thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And when you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Stardew Valley comes out so you don't miss it. Because it is Monday, which means another special request, as well as another Chi quest, whatever you want to call it. So we can actually get a replacement for Chi's crop, even though we can kind of have this one in the background. I guess it's kind of like a special request where we can have multiple at the same time. Uh, but yeah, Mondays is when the special request resets, so I assume the same thing for the Chi crop. So hopefully we can get a better one that we can actually do, right? So, oh gosh, well, oh, never mind, it's raining, so <laughs> I, I left the gates open right there. But yeah, the animals aren't going to escape if it's raining, right? And man, I knew I, I forgot to get the heckin' tappers down here. <laughs> I guess this is a good problem to have, right? Just a bunch of uh, maple syrup and oak resin and whatever else over here. You guys remember when I was really just fiending for oak resin a while ago? <laughs> yeah, I think we're pretty well set up for it right now, huh? And yeah, I need to get more coal for the gold and whatnot right there, but I think I already did the full outro right there. Now, let me go find little Dino Gungus and we could wave goodbye right next to her. So <laughs> thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, look this way, Gungus. Where are you going? Oh, man, she's skiddly don daddling. Where is she going? Oh, she wants to do the outro this way. Uh, next to my emergency bed. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing over there, Gungus. Look this way. Ah, uh, okay, whatever. Oh my gosh, I've got a modern day dinosaur on my face and she's got a dinosaur on her face. <laughs> I just realized that, but anyways, this has been going on long enough. Thank you guys all very much for watching and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, bye there. Wave goodbye, guys. wave goodbye.